lifting the title of a Speedy 2 Pro Wrestling Dojo, we see our special guest referee, Ismay Mendoza. Mecha Wolf just hitting Manu with the bell before the bells even rang. Disrespecting Speedy 2 Pro Wrestling Dojo, disrespecting his opponent, just wanting to get it over with. My Mendoza just yelling at, at me, just yelling at Mecha Wolf. Telling him this is not how things are done here. Mega Wolf wanting Mike Mendoza to ring the bell. Just telling him to ring the bell. That he's ready to fight. If he rings the bell, he could be done for Manu. But if he doesn't ring the bell, the match is called off and Manu will not be able to gain that champion. This is the thing, Mike Mendoza, Manu is one of his star students. This means a lot to Manu. Manu being able to beat Mecha Wolf and regain that belt will be the biggest victory of its career and it will bring the Espiritu Pro Wrestling Dojo back home to one of the best wrestlers. He knows he cannot just like leave this be. But it may be end very quickly, but Manu, even though that that hit, put him DC, even though that hit is making him bleed, he's not down for the count, taking down the strap, yelling at Mecha Wolf, telling him he's not going to be brought down that easily. Mecha Wolf did not expect that he was going for a fight. He did not expect that he was going to get a challenge. He was expecting to get the easy way out. Hit him with a belt. Doing a fast three count. Get away. Go back home. But no. Manu is not so easily brought down. Going face to face against the wolf. Hitting him over and over in his face with those wicked blows. Slamming him into the canvas missile rocket throwing him outside he is in a bad position going for a tope just throwing himself he just falls into the chair he is getting way more than he was expecting it seems like Mega Wolf beat a little bit more than he could chew. He did not expect the rage of Manu to be unleashed upon him. Mega Wolf going for a tope con hero. It seems this is serious business. We are seeing the wolf, the legendary wolf that has won so many championships across the world. If he was not taking him seriously then. Mecha Wolf is taking Manu seriously now. He's going for that wound like a shark smelling blood, trying to open up that wound using his advantage. Just hurting Manu, going over and over to the gaping wound, just putting his finger on it. Mike Mendoza trying to remind me him to not use a close fist but it seems like 450 doesn't care my man it already showed that my mendoza was able to ring the bell because he really wants my to prove himself and to win that belt meaning that my mendoza is not wanting to disqualify this match he's not counting the outside he is not calling out or disqualifying 450 for literally putting his eyes his fingers on his wound using close fists it seems like my Mendoza right now has his hands tied in into his back right now he can only watch and hope that Manu is able to win this match but right now it's looking very grim it seems like Mecha Wolf planned this out perfectly to give himself the best advantage to have this victory 
we see Mecha Wolf just taunting the audience, taunting the cameras. Feeling himself, feeling that this is a one bat match, that it's just a matter of time. He was trying to fake him out, but Manu was able to ca caught him, just slamming his lower back into the canvas, hitting him repeatedly and just hitting him with those shops, hitting him into the back of his neck. And now putting the chairs to throw Mecha Wolf in them. One of them hitting him with a drink right into his head. One of my new specialty is to brawl, to brawl to the outside, just beating you down, especially aiming at that lower back. So then you're very exposed to his camel clutch that is able that has been able to make pe so many people pass out mecha wolf is able to remove to reverse the maneuver hitting him into the chairs with that suplex people are screaming wrestling right now It seems like Mecha Wolf is piling on the chairs right now. Just doing a pile of chairs one after the other. It seems like he wants to hurt Manu as badly as possible right now. Just devastating shops. Mike Mendoza is really worried about the health of Manu right now. He just fe he feels so powerless right now as Manu as clearly for uh, Mecha Wolf does not care at all of the rules of this match he wants to go all around the venue throwing himself throwing him into the chairs but he's able to get caught by Manu Manu belly to belly to the pile of chairs the, the crowd is screaming this is wrestling seeing Manu just devastatingly hurting Mega Wolf into such a way this could be the opening for Manu to get that belt, to get that title, to win that championship, to get that victory that he has worked so hard for. All the years of experience have culminated into one of the biggest matches of his career right now. Mike Mendoza is counting them out. They have to get to the ring before the count reaches zero. This would be very disappointing both for Mike Mendoza, both for Manu, and even Mecha Wolf if this ends into a double count out. Both of them just trying, rushing themselves into the ring and they're able to hit at the exact same time. The rage, the look, they're both looking at each other with so much hatred. Just punching each other in. One of them doing the forearm, the other one hitting the wound, trying to open it up over and over, grinding themselves down. Just shopping themselves over and over and over again. Huge hit from the Mecha Wolf.
Mo Mecha Wolf howling. Able to reverse, hitting him with a forearm in the middle of the ring. Preparing himself, throwing himself into Mecha Wolf, hitting him with a forearm, going back again and hitting him again. Just a fist to the jaw. Mecha Wolf falling down, going for the Michunoku driver, and only a two count. He is doing the signal, going for the camel clutch, hitting the lower back of 450, going for the camel clutch, 450, I'm sorry, Mecha Wolf now, formerly known as 450, he's just trying to protect himself as much as possible, clobbering blows to the jaw, just squeezing, going for it, just putting him into that sleeper hold. Mecha Wolf is able to get up right now. Just hitting him over and over to the jaw. Was able to escape the, the camel clutch knowing that that could have ended the match right there. 450 hitting him with that Instagram right into the temple. And only a two count. Man, who's surviving this matchup? Still alive, still in this fight. <clears throat> There's the crowd just screaming, Manu. They're really wanting Manu. To get up, to fight, to wrestler, to be able to get that belt. He put him into the Farmer's Carrier. He seems to was going for the GTS. Just taunting Mike Mendoza, but he's able to get caught into the Camel Clutch. He's not able to put him fully. He has one arm out, being able to relieve a little bit of the pressure, but it still seems to hurt like hell. He's about to tap out. He's really going for the bottom rope, trying to escape. You can see how he's being stretched right now. He's losing air, but he's able. Manu is really desperate. Manu is angry that he was not able to put down Mecha Wolf right here and there with that Camel Clutch. It has finished so many people off. He knows it was his ticket to victory, but 450 was able to escape. Trying to grab it for Mecha Wolf is able to get up and reverse it. Wicked German suplex with a bridge. And going back to the camel clutch. It's tight. It's put in. It's in the middle of the ring. This could be over. This is the moment. Manu will take this match. It seems like for uh, Mega Wolf have just fainted. He's fainting. He's losing air. You can see that he's barely wake up. I'm losing my voice over here. He hasn't tapped out. He's not gone. He's able to reverse one, two, and just a two count. Four fifty going with a pop up power bomb, putting him into position for a wicked knee to the head and going back. For a three count and 2.99999 in this one. Manu surviving by the skin of his teeth. 
such a close match. Both of them hitting each other with all of what they have. Just blow after blow, move after move, wanting to bring themselves down. But they're not able to get this victory. He's going for his legendary 450 splat. The 450 splat that have given the WWC champion. The 450 splat that have given him the WWL champion. The 450 splat that gave him, the, him every single title in this business. But he's able to block that move. And searching for a superplex from the top rope. The lower back is very hurt right now of Mecha Wolf after surviving not one but two camel clutch from Manu. And Manu bringing him down with a belly to belly from the top rope he needs to get to him he needs to get that count if he wants to win this match he's trying to crawl to mega wolf but he's not able both of them are completely wasted right now the damage that they have received has been too much they can barely stand up it is a six in may end on a draw on a double count out these may go to a draw it's so close but a draw here is unacceptable none of these warriors will accept that right now hitting each other with everything that they got Lariat after Lariat to the chest. He takes down the knee pad. Knee to the jaw. Without the knee pad, just full knee to the jaw. One, two, and it's still not done. You will need to put a nuclear bomb if you want to take him down. The crowd is screaming wrestling right now. Knowing that these two gladiators are leaving everything on that ring tonight. This is no actors. This is wrestlers. Going for a half suplex. He goes into his feet. Pop up power bomb. And it's able to kick out that pop up sit down power bomb. He's just shocked. He doesn't know what to do now. Two camel clutches at sit down pop up power bomb that have given him the title before. None of them half work, nothing half work, nothing he is bringing 450 down. Manu preparing himself. He missed, he catches them into a fireman's carrier and he purposely hit Mike Mendoza right now and hit him with a go to sleep and then a hit right to the back but there is nobody to count to three right now. 450 just hit Mike Mendoza in the face and now he's not able to get that count. I don't think Mecha Wolf is very happy about this.
Mecha Wolf is pissed right now, getting into the face of Mike Mendoza. Mecha Wolf saying that it was an accident, but we can clearly see that it was not. Just the disrespect, the hatred that Mecha Wolf has for Mike Mendoza. He just feels like all this time he Mecha Wolf feels like. Mike Mendoza have created an empire and tr and have kind of deleted his name from professional wrestling and he's trying to prove to everybody. STO into the middle of the ring. It's right in position. He's going for the 450 splash. Nowhere to go. KO in right in position for the 450 splash to be applied he knows this is over he's looking at mendoza knowing that this is the end just telling him this is your student i am bringing him down i'm bringing down your legacy i'm bringing down the empire you have created i'm bringing out your name and i want you to see this going for the 450 just apply fully just telling him to do the count humiliating Mike Mendoza as Mike Mendoza had to hit the three count one two and he kicks out Manu kicks out Manu kicks out from the 450 he's not out the crowd screaming just yelling at the top of their lungs, Manu. Four fifty going to the top rope, wanting to use the leverage of the top rope to do more damage to. And he starts biting that wound, taking him out. He is not able to do any superplex. No more belly to belly from the top rope. He is going for and he just catch him on a sit down power bomb and this is it. Manu has taken the victory. Manu is the new spiritual pro wrestling dojo champion. Kneeling down, giving the belt, giving the crown to the new king of a spiritual pro wrestling dojo. We see Mecha Wolf just completely defeated. He did not expect this. Well, for him, a novice. For him, just, just a means to an end. For him. For him. For fifth. Uh, Manu was just. A tool for him to humiliate Mike Mendoza. He wanted Mike Mendoza. He came for the dojo for Mike Mendoza. But Manu just was able to bring to the distance and actually defeat the wolf. 